Pope Francis talks about synod on synodality and homosexuality in new interview. Before starting, we invite you to like the video, that way you help us inform. Pope Francis on Wednesday answered two questions about the synod on synodality, including the issue of homosexuality, in an interview with Italian state television RI. When asked about the debate on homosexuality at the Synodal Assembly, Pope Francis said, When I say everyone, 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 I'm talking about people. The Church receives people. Everyone. And it doesn't ask how you are. Then, inside, everyone grows, but from a Christian belonging. It is true that today it is a bit fashionable to talk about homosexuality, he continued. The church welcomes everyone. Another thing is when there are organizations that want to enter. The principle is this, the church receives all who can be baptized. Organizations cannot be baptized. People can. The Pope's comments were broadcast in a 40-minute special on the TG1 news program on November 1st. Francis said the outcome of the first part of the Synod on Synodality which met at the Vatican October 4th to 29th, is positive. Everything was discussed in complete freedom, and that is a good thing, he said. The Pope also said the synthesis report issued at the end of the month-long meeting must be studied before the next Synod meeting in October 2024. I think we have arrived precisely at that exercise of synodality that St. Paul Virgin Islands wanted at the end of the Second Vatican, Council because he realized that the Western Church had lost the synodal dimension that the Eastern Church has, Francis said. He also spoke about war, immigration, women deacons, and their health. On the issue of priestly celibacy, the Pope reaffirmed that the discipline can be changed, but said he does not believe that eliminating mandatory priestly celibacy in the Latin Church would do anything to address the shortage of priests. Pope Francis also praised Pope Benedict XVI's efforts to combat clerical sexual abuse. In this a lot of cleanup was done, he said. Pope Ratzinger was courageous in this. He took the problem into his own hands, took many steps and then handed it over to me to finish, the pontiff expressed. In other news, Pope Francis reaffirms that war destroys everything and takes away humanity. On the afternoon of Saturday, November 4, Pope Francis held a meeting in the Paul VI Hall with members of the International Service for Catholic Charismatic Renewal, to whom he asked to pray for peace. The Pope recalled the importance of promoting the exercise of charisms not only in the Catholic Charismatic Renewal, but also in the whole Church. And he stressed the importance of promoting the charism and not controlling it. In particular, Charisms should always be valued for the sake of evangelization and missionary activity, especially when they are directed towards those who do not yet know Jesus Christ. Secondly, he invited to encourage the spiritual deepening and holiness of people who live the experience of baptism in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Father explained that it should not be taken for granted that once one has received this baptism in the Spirit, one is already fully Christian since the path of holiness is always progressive, in personal conversion and in the gift of oneself to Christ and to others, and not only in individual spiritual well-being. Later, he warned those present that their task is not to judge who is an authentic charismatic and who is not, but to offer support and advice to the pastors, to accompany all the multiform groups and realities that make reference to the charismatic renewal. He also affirmed that those who live a true renewal are those who know how to smile. Be always vigilant so as not to fall into the temptation of power games and influence, rejecting the desire to be first and to command. It is good to leave room for the new generations of leaders, so as to be firmly committed to the formation of young people, from among whom future leaders will emerge. Finally. Pope Francis asked for a moment of prayer for peace and reiterated that war also destroys the memory of the steps taken in favor of peace. War destroys everything, it takes away humanity. Let us not let them rob us of this memory of peace, the pontiff concluded.